So I've been making a lot of smoothies lately and I just wanted to show you real quick um, what kinds of supplements and extra things I add to my smoothies. So my smoothies will always start with either frozen or fresh bananas and then any other frozen or fresh fruit that I like. Um, and then I always add at least two or three cups of fresh spinach. So on top of that, I might also add some of these things. No, not all of these things, but <laughs> some of these things. And I just wanted to show you what those were. So um, here we have, this is called Amazing Greens. Oh, I'm sorry, Amazing Grass, <laughs> Green Superfood. Um, they have different flavors of this. This one is the goji and acai um, berry flavor. But essentially, it's just a whole bunch of greens in powder form. Um, you can kind of see here what it's got in there. Wheatgrass, barley grass, spirulina, chlorella, broccoli, and then all of these antioxidant blends, as well as some added fiber and digestive enzymes. So... Um, I really like this stuff. It definitely has a strong green flavor, um, but I've used it for a long time. Sometimes I just do shots of it or add it to my water, um, and it's good. So, also, we have chia seeds. Everybody by now knows what chia seeds are. Um, I don't typically add these too much to my smoothies because it makes them very thick. Um, what I'll do is if I make a smoothie that accidentally comes out too thin, I will add some chia to it um, to thicken it up. But anyway, chia seeds are rich in omega-3s, as you can see. Um, very good for your heart, as it says there, and high-end fiber. So next up are these hemp hearts. I put hemp hearts in almost every smoothie that I make. Um, hemp seeds are also... Um, they're high in omega-3s, but more so they have the omega-3-6 um, combination that you want. That makes it really um, the ultimate. Also good for your heart. Um, it's also got a lot of protein, which I think is great. Um, more so, they taste delicious. They have a, add a very buttery, kind of velvety texture to your smoothie. Um, this is the unsweetened almond breeze so it's almond milk it is vanilla flavor but not sweet vanilla so it doesn't taste that good just for drinking but um it is great for a liquid in your smoothie because it adds protein and tasty uh, creamy flavor so then we have um, some cinnamon just for flavor um, cinnamon is also supposed to be really good um, anti-inflammatory which is great um, speaking of, also this aloe vera juice. Um, this is just a straight up aloe vera juice, a big jug of it. Um, aloe vera is supposed to be really good for its anti-inflammatory properties, um, which is why I add it to mine. It doesn't have too much flavor, just kind of a cool, mellow um, flavor. Um, so that's it. Then I have these uh, goji berries. Um, I actually, goji berries, um, also known as wolf berries, are um, very expensive, so I don't typically buy them. However, I found this package of them at my local Asian market, and this whole box, um, 8 ounces, was about $5. So this um, amount at Whole Foods would probably be about $12 or $13, mm -hmm. so... Um, good deal, good deal. So I like to add those to my smoothies. They add kind of a kind of a sour bitter um, like cranberry like taste, but a little sweeter. Uh, so I really like those and of course super high in antioxidants and all that fancy business. Um, these guys are just for flavor. I have a vanilla extract and also an organic chocolate extract. So this one is good for um, like just banana and chocolate smoothies. I know it's more of a milkshake, but it's really delicious. Um, and then over here in these tubs here, these are, oh, hi Chai. These are um, dates. So they're just two different kinds of dates, Halawi dates and Medjool dates. 
And those just live on my counter all the time anyway, um, just for snacking. So then all of those guys, the fruits, the veggies, um, and then whatever supplements and flavors I like to add, I'll go into this Big Daddy Vitamix here. Takes maybe two minutes to blend it all up. And then I put it into my um, glass to go container. Usually it makes about two of these, so I'll kind of drink one um, and then take this one with me. So uh, that's it. I hope you learned something about my smoothies and maybe think about adding some of these flavors to yours and mixing up your smoothie routine. That's it. Bye.